Hi guys, my name is Mansi Anand and welcome to the new session of RBI 24/7. So guys, as you know that in this session we discuss about certain facts or certain concepts that can be of use to you if you are preparing for competitive exams. Then let's not waste time and move straight away to the lecture. But before doing that guys, I would like to do the customary thing. I would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel. So if you're watching our video for the very first time, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button. And you can also press this bell icon which is flashing on the screen. It can help you to stay in touch with us, right? You can also join our <coughs> sorry Telegram group. On this group, you can post all your doubts and queries and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible, right? So guys, are you ready for question number one? So here is question number one for today. I hope the screen is perfectly visible. Okay. This question, this question talks about certain statements that are about something called a bad bank, right? You have to select the statements which are, which are not correct about this particular bad bank right moving ahead to the correct option for this question and the correct option for this question is option b option b means two and three so not correct not correct whereas one is correct guys if you remember we have already discussed about bad bank in one of our previous videos right so uh, if you do not remember what is it then don't worry because we are going to learn about different aspects of bad bank here but if you want to watch that video you can ask for its link in the comments right so now coming to the bad bank first statement says Bad bank is an institution that takes over dud loans and other illiquid assets of the lenders. So as the name suggests, something uh, a, a bad bank is basically a bank which has something to do with bad things happening in the banking sector, right? So this bank does not do any bad thing, but they take over the bad assets or the non-performing asset. You must be aware of the NPA problem prevalent in the Indian banking industry. So these bad banks, what do they do? They buy the bad assets from the banks and then try to re recover if there is any value left over in that particular asset, right? So bad banks are being cited as one of the key tool which can be used to fight this NPA problem in India, right? So Experts are saying that if government creates a bad bank, government funds a bad bank, simply government creates an establishment, let's call this a bad bank and gives some money to this bank, right? So this money coming from government to bad bank. Now this bad bank can use this money to buy NPAs from the commercial banks from the uh, normal banks this way uh, what how is this going to help the banks because see banks have the problem of recovering money from these NPAs what are NPAs the loans that banks have made simple terms mein bank ne jin logo ko bhi paisa diya hai jin companies ko paisa diya hai agar wo wapis nahi karte if the borrowers do not pay we call them NPA right now in this situation, the bank is going to sell NPA to the bad bank. Bad bank kya karega? NPA kharid lega bank se. Now, what will, uh, how will it benefit the banks? Because it is going to free banks of the liability of having these bad assets. And this bad bank is going to be a specialized entity uh, full of st specialized staff, experts in their field who know how to recover money from this NPAs. Right? You must be thinking that if a bad bank can do it, why not a bank? See, because it is going to have some specialized staff who knows how to pull value out of NPA. Or if the company is, if uh, there is a company which is an NPA um, and it has to be liquidated, it, it is on the brink of bankruptcy, then how to find uh, how to find some uh, some buyers for it or some investors for it in order to save that company right so bad bank will have uh, the duty of performing this job only whereas banks they have certain other uh, functions that is why they cannot invest their lot of their time and effort in working out or recovering money recovering 
value from NPS, right? So this is the whole system of bad bank. That is why the first statement is correct. Now the second statement says that this mechanism helps a bank to combine its good and bad assets so that it can get higher valuations for them. See, this statement is not correct. Why? Because it says mechanism of bad bank helps banks to combine good and bad assets whereas in true uh, in actual sense this is just the opposite a bad bank buys bad assets from the bank so the bank is left only with the good assets so a segregation is happening aapne acche assets aur bure assets ko aapas mein separate kar diya just like if in a basket you have kept some fruits and some of them get raw, get some of the fruits get rotten then what do you do you separate the good ones from the bad ones because the bad ones are going to affect the good ones and turn them into bad right so if it is out in the news agar media ko ye baat pata chal jaye ki ek ek particular bank ke paas bahut sare bad loans hain npas hain to unke jo good assets hain unki value bhi gir sakti hai right so in order to protect the value of good assets bad assets have to be segregated from it right and that helps banks to retain their image and to retain their and to retain their actual functions right that is why the statement is not correct third statement says helps lender to increase provisioning by providing additional capital to them this is also not correct because see banks np bank provision kyu banate hain if you remember we have discussed about provisioning and its related ratios in one of the video so why do banks make provision provision just means a saving against a loss which can happen in future so if banks are aware that our npas are going to go to the bad bank they will not have to make too many provision uh, they will not have to make higher provision higher proportion of provision so jo paisa wo save karke pehle jo paisa bank pehle save karke rakh raha tha ki in case npa ho jayega to hum is paise ko use kar lenge now that money is free because npa to bad bank ne khareed liya now you can use that leftover money in other lending purposes right so this will lead to more profit generation for bank by freeing up the capital by lesser need of provisioning so not increase right that is why two and three are incorrect and only one is the correct statement moving ahead here you can see some more facts about it so this bad bank debate is uh, certainly going on between all the economists and the financial experts okay rbi governor has suggested that regulator is open to the idea of bad bank they are pondering over it or they are thinking about it as i told you segregation of toxic assets that means bad assets from the good assets assets help generate confidence among potential investors right so the bank's image is not going to be tainted in the market that it has so many bad assets who can then examine the financial health of the lender with greater clarity right after that despite regulatory forbearance i hope you know the meaning of this term regulatory forbearance has been discussed in one of the videos if not you can ask for its link so regulatory forbearance hamari sarkar follow to kar rahi hai the government is uh, the government and the regulators they are following regulatory forbearance in the form of a loan moratorium but many borrowers still find it difficult to service their loans requiring lenders to set aside provision right and bad bank frees up the provisioning requirement that is why it can make the banks lend more see guys currently kya ho raha hai what is happening since banks are thinking ke npa to bahut zyada hai isliye hame paise zyada kharch nahi karne chahiye hame loans zyada nahi dene chahiye banks are thinking we should not lend too much because we have to save money in case we suffer from npa right but if bad bank is going to take that responsibility banks will generate confidence because they know it is not their responsibility to look after the npas right so banks will have more confidence and they might lend more and if banks lend more that ultimately leads to credit creation that ultimately leads to a boost in for the growth of the economy right and apart from banks 
public confidence will be generated that they can take the loans or they can put their money into banks they can invest into certain uh, schemes by banks and their not their money is safe because the bank is not going to go bust because of the npas right but there are certain criticisms associated with bad bank for example the one is uh, the, the one point here is that if government starts to fund a bad bank in order to buy bad loans from NPAs, uh, from banks, then kya hoga? it might lead to carelessness among banks because banks do not have to worry about increasing NPAs. They, they might think that NPA ka dhyan to bad bank rakh lega, hum jitni marji lending chahe kar sakte hain. Right? So that might lead to reckless lending ultimately and Obviously, generation of in, generation of confidence is important amongst bank, but it should not lead to an overconfidence about lending, right? This might not, this should not make them, uh, this should not make them less efforts, or they should not make them disregard due diligence while making loans, right? So these are certain criticism factors. Apart from that, many lend many. Uh, many experts say that we already have asset reconstruction companies and we have IBB, IBBI that looks after IBC. So we have IBC and ARCs but there is no use of them or let's say they are not working very efficiently then they should be right. So what good can now a bad bank? can uh, what good bad bad bank can do so uh, many experts ke keh rahe hain se bhi systems hain to ye naya system kya ukhad lega jab purano ne kuch nahi kiya to right so these are some criticisms this idea has to face moving ahead to the next question for today the next question says the reserve bank of india on january 12 2021 said it has imposed a penalty of 2 crore on dash bank for Non-compliance with certain provisions of directions issued by RBI, uh, interest rate on deposits direction 2016. Correct option for this question is option D. Option D means Deutsche Bank, right? So this bank has been penalized by RBI. RBI has put up a 2 crore penalty for, uh, for on them. And why has RBI done so? Because they were unable to fulfill some directions or some guidelines that RBI provided regarding interest rate on deposits. So basically, RBI ne kuch rules banaye hue hai ki jab hi koi bank deposit collect karta hai customer se, so they have to follow certain directions. They have to follow certain guidelines by RBI. And this bank failed to do so. That is why RBI said, K, uh, you did not follow the regulations, now you have to pay us penalty of 2 crore, right? Simple enough? Okay, here you can see, action is based on deficiencies in regulatory compliance, not intended to pronounce upon the validity of any transaction. So, RBI said that we are not going to hamper your operations or we are not going to invalidate any of your transaction aap jo kaam kar rahe ho usko koi farak nahi padega but just because you were unable to comply to the regulations that is why you will have to face the penalty right so these this is the section under which rbi has the power to put such a penalty and rbi said rbi said that we did an inspection of the bank uh, according to its financial position and ask the bank to tell us that why should we not put up NLD on you and the bank failed to provide a satisfactory answer to RBI although they did provide some answer but that was not appropriate for RBI and finally they decided with putting up a penalty right okay moving ahead to the third question so here is the third question for today which says following are some statements about beer steepener which of the following is or are incorrect here also you have to select these statements which are not correct in respect of a concept called a beer steepener correct option for this question is option a option a means only three is the so the uh, the correct option is option a only three is the correct statement uh, sorry incorrect statement whereas statement one statement two they are correct only three is incorrect right now 
ओके गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर गेटिंग टू दी स्टेटमेंट वी हैव टू लर्न अबाउट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज कॉल्ड बियर स्टीपनर so see whenever we make an investment we look for the maturity of investment right so आप जब भी investment करते हो आप सोचते हो कि मुझे short term के लिए invest करना है या मुझे long term के लिए invest करना है just a second okay so you try to decide that what is the maturity for which you want to invest and according to it you see that okay this return is valid for me i want this much of return then you decide that what are the investments you want to be a part of right so this beer state steepener is a situation where the interest rates of long term right if we make a graph here so on y axis let's say there is maturity sorry on x axis let's say there is maturity and on y axis we have interest rates or the return that you are getting for investing into a particular investment avenue right so a beer steepener is a situation where the long term interest rates right if we are measuring uh, maturity on x axis so it will be like one year here two three and so on to let's say 10 right so the point is if the long term interest rates basically if you are investing if you want to invest for a longer time then you want a really high interest rate as compared to the short term investment right so let's say uh, you and your friend you want to invest for long term and you are saying that i need at least 10% of the interest rate whereas a friend of yours who want to invest for let's say an year only what is satisfied with a 4% interest rate so this is a situation where as you increase the maturity the interest rate that you want also increases right so the gap between the short term and the long term interest rate is widening is broadening that is why we call it a beer steepener basically the graph is becoming steeper something like this so earlier if it used to be like So earlier if it used to be like this now it is like this right so the gap here is less than the gap here right so earlier it used to be like this the below one and now it is somewhere here right so you see the widening gap so if people want to in invest for a longer term they want a higher interest rate so the curve has become steeper in nature steeper means ke aage se पीछे की तरफ ज्यादा झुका हुआ और आगे की तरफ से उठा हुआ सो दैट इज अटीप पोजिशन लाइक दिस इज दिस इज अटीपर कर्व दिस इज अ फ्लैटर कर्व सो द कर्व इज बिकमिंग स्टीपर दैट इज वाई वी कॉल इट बियर स्टीपनर इन वाई बियर बिकॉज दिस हैपन्स वेन पीपल आर एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट द इन्फ्लेशन इज गोइंग टू बी मोर इन फ्यूचर that is why to cover for that inflation they want a higher reward they want a higher rate of return right so since they are expecting this that in future there can be a lot of uncertainty there might be some sort of problems there might not be enough growth in the economy that is why to protect for that beer situation or uh, to protect for from that bearish tendencies in future they are asking for a higher interest rate that is why this is called this concept is called a beer steepener situation right okay i think i'll show you the diagram that can help you understand it beer uh i hope is it, it is visible right yes i think it's it's visible okay here you can see the beer steepening part okay right so the gap here is less but so uh, but the gap here is wider so the difference between the short term and the long term interest rate that is changing at a really fast rate that is why the gap is widening so that's a beer steepening situation right so similar to that we have different situations here you can see bull steepening here 
basically it is all the play of interest rates how they are going to change how what people what the public and the investors are in what is the direction in which the public and investors are expecting interest rates to move so this is bull steepening okay here you can see the bull flattening i hope it is visible right so bull flattening and this is bear flattening this is the opposite situation of bear steepening bear steepening whereas bear flattening right okay moving back to the statements here you can see okay so the incorrect one was the third one was incorrect and first two were correct so bear steepener occurs when there is a larger spread or difference between short term and long term bond rates so larger difference right that is why the statement is correct commonly occurs when investors are concerned about the inflation in short term so since inflation so since the investors currently are worried about inflation that is why they want future interest rates to be higher so that they can protect against the inflation that is prevalent now right so the this this worry or this threat of inflation can cause the curve to become steeper right so see now the point the one, one point here that i want to discuss is this inflation can occur because of two reasons right ऐसा नहीं जरूरी नहीं है कि इन्फ्लेशन है तो फ्यूचर में ग्रोथ ही एक्सपेक्ट की जा रही हो बिकॉज इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्टार्ट फ्लेशन ऑल्सो सो इन्फ्लेशन के साथ लो ग्रोथ एंड हाई ग्रोथ दोनों ही सिचुएशन पॉसिबल हो सकती हैं हाई ग्रोथ की वजह से भी इन्फ्लेशन हो सकता है और ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि कोई स्टार्ट फ्लेशन को एक्सपेक्ट uh, कर रहा हो उसकी वजह से भी इन्फ्लेशन हो सकता है सो इन्फ्लेशन कैन अकर विथ बोथ ऑफ दीज सिचुएशन राइट सो इन्फ्लेशन एंड लो ग्रोथ दे आर नॉट म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव सो दैट इज द पॉइंट वाई आर वी लर्निंग अबाउट बियर स्टीपनिंग बिकॉज फेडरल रिजर्व इज फेसिंग अ सिमिलर सिचुएशन अ ड्रास्टिक मूवमेंट इन यूएस यील कर्व बेसिकली द कर्व इज बिकमिंग स्टीपर एंड दे आर कंसर्न दैट ओके पीपल आर एक्सपेक्टिंग इन्फ्लेशन बट द फेडरल रिजर्व वॉन्ट दिस सिचुएशन टू हैपन दैट इफ पीपल आर एक्सपेक्टिंग इन्फ्लेशन दैट शुड बी बिकॉज ऑफ हाई ग्रोथ नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ अ स्टैक फ्लेशन सिचुएशन राइट so that is why second statement is also correct now the third statement says traders can take advantage of a bear steepener by okay just remove this word going by selling short term bonds and buying long term bonds so this is not correct if traders want to take an advantage of this situation they should buy short term and they should sell long term right why is this so because see if you are going to hold the long term bonds dekho expect kiya ja raha hai ki future mein interest rates badh jayenge right so it is the expectation that in future interest rates are going to be higher that is why curve is moving upward so if in interest if interest rates are going to be higher in future that would be better if you will buy the investment that in in future when interest rates will be higher if you stick if you get stuck your money into long term bonds now when the short term interest rates are prevalent and the interest rates are less then you might be stuck with lower interest rate jab future mein badh jayenge tab kharidna long term bonds ko abhi sell kar do right and if you still want to buy buy a short term बिकॉज लॉन्ग टर्म आने तक आपकी ये इन्वेस्टमेंट एक्सपायर हो जाएगी एंड तब तक आप शॉर्ट टर्म इंटरेस्ट वाला कम इंटरेस्ट रेट कमा लोगे एंड वेन इन फ्यूचर द इंटरेस्ट रेट राइज यू कैन देन बाय लॉन्ग टर्म एंड देन यू कैन यू कैन यू कैन लॉक इन दैट लॉन्ग टर्म इंटरेस्ट रेट वेन दे विल राइज राइट सो दैट इज दिचुएशन ओके मूविंग आई हेड आई थिंक वी हैव ब्रीफली डिस्कस ऑल दीज थिंग्स लेट्स जस्ट रन थ्रू इट occurs when there is a larger spread or difference between short term and long term as long as it's due to long term rates rising faster than the short term rates that is why we were saying do not buy long term now buy long term when they will rise in future 
the long end of the yield curve influenced by factors now why is this why is this long term interest rate rising because it can be because of many factors like expectations of inflation it might be because of investors demand and supply it might be possible people are not buying long term and in order to lure investors um, in in order to lure investors the interest rates are being pulled up economic growth institutional investors trading large blocks of fixed income securities all these factors can be affecting the movement of yield us bond yields registered some notable moves in the first few days of 2021 and what is the move that the long term rates are rising higher than the short term rates okay coming to the fourth question and this question says cute little bank is a small bank which has been appointed as debenture trustee by tbtf company and sons bank has found some discrepancies with the debenture issue that the company has made but being a small bank it is feeling that it won't be able to handle the cost burden of taking enforcement action against the company could you pick out the option from below which can be helpful for cute little bank in this situation right correct option for this question is option e that is recovery expenses fund see guys if you remember in one of the session we discussed about a debenture trustee who is a debenture trustee if you are not aware of this term you can watch that session in brief debenture trustee is an entity who is responsible for protecting the rights protecting the rights of debenture holders in front of the issuer right so they are like some sort of heroes for the debenture holders right so now the regulators want that these debenture trustee entities they should be made more powerful because they can be really helpful in protecting the uh, in protecting the debenture holders in protecting the debt holders right so that is why they want to give more power to debenture trustee one problem that was there in this situation was bahut bar kya hota tha debenture trustee ko jab lagta hai company ke against action le lena chahiye when they feel that there are some wrong doings going on with the issuer of debt and they want to take action but they do not do it because they will have to bear the uh, expenses and cost of taking that action be it any legal charges or anything basically the cost they would have to bear it and they know that once they take action the issuer who appointed them they are not going to be paid by them so agar cute little bank tbtf ke against action le leta hai then tbtf is not going to pay clb the fees which is paid to debenture trustee right so its revenue is going to get cut its source of income is going to get cut whereas it will have to bear the expenses so this is one reason that discourage debenture trustees for taking from taking action now to fight this problem and uh, sorry a fund called recovery expense fund has been created in which some money has been put which can be used by a debenture trustee to cover all those costs right basically in order to encourage them to take actions against any wrong doings right some more information here about the debenture trustee okay sebi in october said that issuers of listed or proposed to be listed debt securities would have to deposit 0.01% of the issue or maximum of rupees 25 lakhs towards the creation of recovery expense fund basically they are trying to pull this money out of the pocket of issuers that if you are raising debt if you are uh, issuing bonds if you are sorry if you are issuing debt securities then you will have to make some contribution to this fund and in case you do something bad debenture trustee is will take action against you using the money from this fund right so i hope this is clear to you okay next step recovery expense fund is created used manner as decided by the meeting of holders of debt securities so this is not exactly a source of income from for, uh, for debenture trustees they can use it only <coughs> i'm sorry only after they take permission from the debt holders right okay they permit debenture trustees to sign 
इंटर क्रेडिटर अग्रीमेंट अंडर दी आई बी सी इफ द बोरोअर इज रिफ्यूजिंग टू एक्ट फॉर द रिकवरी ऑफ ड्यूज गाइज यू रिमेंबर वी टॉक अबाउट इंटर क्रेडिटर अग्रीमेंट बेसिकली इफ अ कंपनी हैज डिफॉल्टेड एक कंपनी है जो अपनी डेट्स को पे नहीं कर पा रही है तो उसके जितने भी लेंडर्स हैं मतलब जितनी भी कंपनीज ने जितनी भी पार्टीज ने उन्हें पैसा दिया है दे कैन कलेक्ट एंड साइन an agreement which is known as inter creditor agreement to decide that what to do with this company which is not paying the debts so if debenture trustee is not being recovered with the cost or with the cost of litigation or with the cost of taking action against the issuer the uh, this these debenture trustees they can also join the inter creditor agreement right okay so basically these are some rules which which are which have been brought up to make debenture trustees powerful to impart more power or more strength in their hands so that they can take actions against the wrong doings of the issuers right new regulations require trustees to evaluate independently the value of security rather than relying on the various certificates submitted by the issuer so to value ki kisi ke debt mein kisi ki agar bonds hain ya debentures hain jo ki ek company ne issue kiye hain basically debt securities which have been issued by a company the valuation which has been put on them is it correct or not that debenture trustee can evaluate independently without taking into consideration the documents by the issuer so basically to get an unbiased view of value of the uh, debt security right after that obtain a non objection certificate from existing charge holders before going ahead with the issue of bonds or debentures so basically if a company wants to issue some bonds or debentures they will have to take permission from their current charge holders they will have to take an noc बेसिकली uh, अगर आप नया कर्जा लेना चाह रहे हो इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ बॉन्ड्स और डिबेंचर्स कोई भी कंपनी लेना चाह रही है तो उनके जो एग्जिस्टिंग कर्जा जो एग्जिस्टिंग लेंडर्स हैं ऐसी पार्टीज है जिनको कंपनी uh, uh, को पैसा पे करना है उनसे पहले परमिशन लो दैट आई हैव टेकन डेट फ्रॉम यू एंड यू हैव चार्ज ऑन सम ऑफ माई एसेट्स मे आई टेक सम अदर डेट सम अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ डेट इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ डेट सिक्योरिटीज और नॉट राइट सो बेसिकली इन ऑर्डर टू मेक दी बॉन्ड होल्डर्स और डेट होल्डर्स मोर पावरफुल ओके अनदर की चेंज बाय से बी इज वेरीफिकेशन फ्रॉम दी बैंक अबाउट द पेमेंट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट और प्रिंसिपल शुद्ध सच इंफॉर्मेशन इज नॉट अवेलेबल फ्रॉम द इश्यूअर सो इफ there is a debenture trustee and debenture trustee ko company bata nahi rahi hai so if the company is not providing adequate details to the trustee that whether they have made the principal pay, principal payment or interest payment the trustee can go to the bank directly and they can ask that whether the payments have been made or not right so these are some steps which have been taken to make debenture trustee <coughs> more powerful okay so this is the last question for today This question says Maharashtra government has recently halved premiums in an attempt to boost real estate demand which of the following statement tells you the correct meaning of the word premium in this context moving ahead to the correct option correct option for this question is option C option C means premium refers to premium refers to the number of charges that are levied by the state with respect to approvals for initiating progressing and completing a project guys in simple terms whenever there is a real estate company and they are getting on uh, they are getting ahead with a project and they need to take certain approvals for the government from the government before carrying on with the project they have to pay some fees that is known as premiums so agar aap koi naya project start kar rahe ho ek real estate company ke through so you need to take permissions from the government unko kuch paise bhi dene padenge badle mein jise प्रीमियम बोलते हैं इन सिंपल टर्म्स महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट ने क्या किया दे ट्राई दे डिसाइडेड टू रिड्यूस दी चार्जेस द प्रीमियम चार्जेस विच विच आर पेबल टू दी महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट बेसिकली दे हैव हाफ दे हैव मेड देर हाफ राइट सो दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ प्रीमियम आई थिंक इट्स वेरी इजी टू फिगर आउट दैट व्हाई दे हैव टेकन सच अ स्टेप सो दैट द कॉस्ट बिकम्स लेस फॉर दी कंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनीज रियल एस्टेट डेवलपर्स एंड and they can carry out their operations or they can uh, reduce the value of their product that is real estate might be a flat might be a commercial building whatever they are dealing in 
so basically reducing the cost for construction companies and real estate developers in order to provide benefit to the customer right so that the customer has more interest uh, customer uh, witnesses an increased interest in buying real estate right so this has been done to boost real estate here you can see applicable to ongoing and new real estate developments till december 2021 also this is also in addition to stamp duty cuts applicable in the state until march 2021 so these are uh, this this is some other step that the government has taken includes premium paid for floor space index construction of lifts and lobbies among others here you can see many real estate companies saw their share prices increasing or raise, uh, rising because of this announcement and builders who want to avail this premium concession will have to pay full stamp duty for their customers by 31st december right so these are certain steps by maharashtra government to boost real estate so guys these were the questions for today <coughs> i hope you learned something new from this video if you did then do not forget to hit the like button because i'll be back in next session with some new information till then you keep watching keep your studies carrying on and thank you for being here